Good evening, guys. Some of you guys were a little confused today with multiplying or dividing radicals. So we're going to walk through the steps again and then do those two practice problems. So the first thing that you want to do, if it's a multiplication problem, such as this one, you want to multiply the coefficients, then multiply the radicands. After you do so, then you're going to simplify. If it's a division problem, like to the right, we want to divide the coefficients, then divide the radicands, and then lastly sim uh, simplify. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at this problem over here. When we multiply uh, the coefficients, we're looking at the 3 and the 4. So we're going to do 3 times 4. Then we're going to keep our radical sign and multiply the radicands. The radicands are just the numbers underneath the radical sign. So 27 times 6. Okay, so after we multiplied, now we're going to look at 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Keep our radical sign and do 27 times 6. 27 times 6 is 162. Okay, after we broke down the problem into 12 and 162, we need to further simplify. That 162 underneath the radical can be broken up into a perfect square and a non-perfect square. So we're going to leave our 12 on the outside and break 162 into two factors. One factor that goes into 162 would be 81, and that's our perfect square, and 2, because 81 times 2 is 162. Remember, we want to keep our perfect square on the left and our non-perfect square on the right. So, by doing so, by putting that, 100, uh, that 81 over here, this right here is our perfect square. And if we have a perfect square, we could pull it on the outside. So now we have our 12 still on the outside, our 81, the square root of 81 is nine, and we keep that two on the inside because we can't do anything with it since it's not our perfect square. So then we have, 12 times 9, 108, radical 2. And that is our final answer. Okay, so now we're going to look at the one that says dividing radicals. So again, looking at the top, we want to first divide our coefficients. So 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Keep our radical sign. And then what we want to do is divide our radicands. So 56 divided by 7, that's how we have an 8 in our radical. Okay, so now since we divided both the coefficients and the radicands, we're left with 2 radical 8. But you should notice that radical 8 over here can be simplified. There's a perfect square in there. So keep the 2 on the outside, and our 8 becomes a factor of 4, which is our perfect square, times 2, because 4 times 2 will get us 8, and 4 is our perfect square that we want. So right here, 4 is our perfect square, and remember, we pull our perfect squares out when we simplify. So we have 2 times the square root of 4, which is 2, and we're left with radical 2 on the inside. 2 times 2 is 4. Again, we have the radical 2. And that is your final answer. Okay, if you're still having a little more trouble, please contact for help. And tomorrow what we're going to do is work on adding and subtracting radicals. See you later.